Hello, my name is Anthony. I am one of the co-owners of Original Gamers Land Center Computer Repair. I am also one of its main computer technicians. And I've decided to make a video to basically explain different prevention methods to keep your computer from getting hacked, getting kind of viruses, malware, spyware, any of that other nasty stuff that seems to be on the web as of late. Now keep in mind this video is not a 100% method to not getting viruses because there is truly no such thing as a 100% guarantee that you will not get infected no matter how careful you are. It just happens. Uh, the only way I can think of that you will never have to worry about viruses is if you never go on the internet which is something nobody really can seem to do. So if you follow around the but follow along on this guide, uh, you should be okay for the most part. I would like to first start off with music and video downloading. If you see any of these three programs on your computer, chances are you are either going to be infected very soon or a much greater chance that you're already infected. I mean, these programs may have had their use to some of you a long time ago, but nowadays these things are just havens for viruses. They're just the easiest way to get infected other than those free pop-up ads that you see from time to time saying that you've won, which I'll make sure to go over that later on in the video. Also, as you can see here on my desktop, I use Mozilla Firefox. Now, Everybody has their own preference as to what explorer they choose to use. Uh, my best advice is stick to whatever feels right for you, but whatever you do, avoid Internet Explorer like a poison. Uh, at least at this point, it's still pretty vulnerable to attacks from hackers, viruses, and other different kinds of security threats. Uh, what you want to do for starters, on any of your browsers, generally there's going to be an options setup. You'd want to go in there, uh, usually head to the privacy options, anything like that, and you'd want to do never remember history, or if you can, get it to a point where it deletes anything as far as temporary files or anything else like that. Uh, because in the case, if you were to get any kind of adware, any kind of issues like that, or anything else were to come up by deleting history, cookies, uh, temporary files, you basically purge your system of getting reinfected by anything that's still lingering in those folders. When searching online, even though what you're looking for might be legitimate, just be careful of many other sites because chances are they might not be. For instance, as you can see here, I'm looking for HP P6000 XP drivers. Really don't need them, but just an example so you can see, you have, based on certain antiviruses like ABG, they'll have a check. They'll usually let you know if it's safe or not. A very good way of telling is usually the uh, VeriSign, but just because it has those things doesn't always mean that it's safe. Kind of use your best judgment. I mean, right here, www.shop. Uh, shoesale.com is obviously not going to be a place where you're going to be able to get HP drivers. So again, just try to use your best judgment. Be careful where you go. That's also another easy way to get hacked and attacked. Now on to those pop-up ads that I mentioned earlier. As you can see here, I've kind of made a very horribly done like fake pop-up ad for you to take a look at. If you see something like this where it's like congratulations you're a whatever amount visitor and they're telling you you're getting something for free, it's definitely a scam. That's just like the old saying goes, if it's too good to be true, chances are it is. This is usually an easy way of committing phishing, which is getting your information so they could steal your identity, credit card information, stuff like that or even just simple infections, so on and so forth. So please be careful when you see these. If it pops up, do not click anywhere on it, other than maybe the X if you can. Uh, just try and get rid of it any way possible.
or get somebody who might know to do so for you. And of course, you know, last but not least, make sure to have some kind of antivirus, anti spyware, anti malware program. Again, they're not going to guarantee that you won't be infected, but they will hopefully prevent such an attack from happening. If your computer is already infected, however, no such program will really help you out. At that point, you really want to go ahead and take your computer to somebody who knows how to remove the viruses whether it be a shop or even a store. Just be careful who you trust because hustling is still a very profitable business and there will be people out there who are just going to try and take your money and claim that they know what they're talking about. So I would like to take this time to thank all of you for watching this video. I greatly hope that this helps out a lot of people online, especially anybody who has watched this video uh, please make sure to follow us subscribe on our YouTube channel for any new updates videos other great stuff we put up even some future tips and also make sure to check out our Facebook page until we have a website up same name original gamers land and thanks again